Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe. As you guys can see from the title, today's video is in collaboration with Beauty Forever Hair. They're actually um, introducing their new V-Part unit. And of course, they always give a ton of goodies. I'm not really sure why they gave me a wig cap, but the stocking was clutch. <laughs> So anywho, um, I do have a bunch of clips, a really nice and pretty um, satin scarf, which is actually going to come in handy when it comes to kind of tying down your hair. And this is a quick look at what the wig actually looks like. So this is their body wave. Again, their V part unit. You guys will kind of get a closer look at what it looks like on the inside. You can see that there are plenty, plenty. I can even get that out. There are plenty of combs and clips on the inside. Um, and it is like this lace kind of going around the perimeter of the V. So if you actually need to kind of deepen up that part a little bit don't be shy you can actually trim that up and then you guys can see it's an adjustable cap and so i'm just pretty much tightening at that up to the best of my ability because these caps are usually about an average size to about large so um as you guys can see here starting off with freshly washed hair um well it's looking kind of dry for some reason like what's going on i don't know we need to do a deep condition but nevertheless <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to pretty much get the base of the the um i guess protective style i don't know how to really word that so what i like to do is go ahead and just measure out the v part so i know how much of my hair actually needs to be left out again if you need to deepen the part definitely do it but i did notice that at exactly about three and a half inches um, is about how long that v part was and i knew that i wanted to leave out about half of an inch of my own hair um, starting from like my hairline going backward so i did go ahead and just kind of section that out just to begin um you know with this whole process sometimes it can be a lot simpler i'm actually going to post another video to show you how to get this installed in literally like 10 minutes so for those of you that are actually looking to wear the style a little bit longer i think this method is a lot more detailed so then that way you'll know exactly the braiding pattern and all that good stuff for really kind of sectioning off your hair so as you guys can see right here, I'm actually just taking the thinnest section. I knew that I was going to wear it in the middle part just because the V part is already kind of set in that way. Of course, you can do a side part, but I feel like the cap would just kind of feel a bit funky. So we didn't really want to go for that. You guys, believe it or not, I'm only taking out about a half an inch of hair. And that's because they do have the lace going all the way around. I don't know if you guys remember the invisible like parts that people used to do where they would stack the tracks and like all that craziness well um now we're at that point where it's kind of coming back but they're using it i guess or we're creating this new method to kind of give you the illusion without having to leave out a ton of hair so you guys saw i left out just a tiny bit and then right on the sides of that i did want to go ahead and create anchor braids so this is what i'm doing now you guys can see the braids are about a half inch wide and then i'm literally just going to go ahead and crisscross them and start cornrows so um, this part is kind of self-explanatory. If you are a visual learner, then of course, now's the time where I kind of just be quiet, go through the braiding style, and then of course, come back once it's time to kind of pop on the unit. So, of course, this is the foundation. Obviously, your braids do not have to be completely perfect, but you want to make sure that everything's tucked away and you have your anchor braids because, of course, with the combs, you want to be able to kind of slide those in. And you guys can see here, I didn't do anything fancy. I just literally pinned my braids up inside of the cap and I'm just sliding in the combs everywhere they need to go. So there was like two around the perimeter, one in the back. Of course, it was already tightened. And then there were the snappable kind of clip-in clips um, around the 
actual perimeter as well like for that v part area if that makes sense and then you guys can see where i'm actually just adding a little bit of layers kind of long layers just to give the hair a little bit of shape i'm actually just going to be throwing some curls in here nothing too too serious so um don't stress yourself out on this i'm just literally recreating that body wave kind of style and i'm actually using my eap heat uh one inch flat iron just to create the curls if you want to use a curling iron you can but um yeah this is what i just picked up just to kind of quickly go throughout the hair so far so good this is a 24 inch y'all know that i'm not like the queen of long hair especially not now but um i found that the hair actually held up pretty well the curls did last for quite some time i ended up taking off the unit like at the end of the video and just kind of sitting it aside and y'all the curls are still sitting it up in the wig you guys can see how nice and like I don't know it has a really pretty like luster so i did add a little bit of layers all throughout the unit um as i just went ahead and like curled it up i didn't make this like too complicated this is not like a how to layer your hair tutorial this is literally me just throwing some curls in here the layers are probably definitely disconnected but um again that's not the focus <laughs> so i am gonna go back and actually layer this unit up a lot more properly i want to maybe chop this up to like a maybe a 16 inch so let me know down in the comments section below if you do want to see me kind of transform it from this longer length i just wanted to give those of you um the opportunity to kind of experience long hair with like i don't know without having to do a quick weave or sew in so this is for you um and i'm just doing the same thing on both sides you guys can see how the hair is curling i mean i really didn't have too many issues then of course i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of tackle my hair which i don't have like anything in it at this point it's literally just i don't know freshly washed a little bit of leave-in conditioner and uh yeah nothing crazy i should have put some type of like thermal protectant on here but y'all know i always get crazy when my hair starts to grow out so there's that um so yeah just adding a couple curls just to help everything blend and you guys can see like I don't know. I really don't have too many issues when it comes to U part or V part wigs. For me, the as long as the cap fits appropriately, you should get a pretty flat install. I would say that although the hair is really soft and like has a nice luster, I would have preferred if I was able to select maybe a petite cap. Um, and that's just my opinion. Obviously, if you have a lot more hair, your hair is thicker, and I don't know, maybe your head size is just a little bit bigger, this would probably fit you perfect. But I do have these um the straps kind of tighten very very tight and i'm still getting a little bit of wiggle room in the back um nevertheless i did not want to add baby hair this time because y'all always screaming at me like girl we want to see this without baby hair so cool this is for you okay um so i'm just taking a wide tooth comb going throughout the hair and you guys can see the blend like obviously if you leave out more hair you'll have even more flexibility with it but for me it just didn't really make sense because the cap definitely needed to be about an inch or maybe two inches a little bit tighter around the nape of my neck so i'm gonna figure that situation out maybe by crossing the elastic um adjustable straps in the back as well just to kind of help with that hold but yeah the clips did a really really good job i felt secure i did not feel like anything was moving and you guys can see just how everything's like blending with my natural hair and y'all know i'm not like normally uh i don't know do you guys call it like heat naturals i, I don't know y'all kind of get crazy in the comments but nevertheless everything's blending appropriately and i did not have to do much so um all that i'm doing now is just adding a little bit of oil y'all know i love the cream of nature argan oil um and this is just what i'm smoothing throughout all the hair so far so good you guys i was overall happy with the hair this was definitely a unit that i would pick up and just kind of go but you guys can see what i mean like the length is cool but i'm definitely more of like a bra strap length kind of girl so i'm definitely gonna chop this up and whether or not you want the video or not i'm gonna be honest i'm probably gonna film it anyway <laughs> just because i've actually loved this process as opposed to having to do like a full quick weave and like all that um and then once i finally figure out exactly how i want to set the unit to get it to fit a little bit tighter i'll definitely film that for you now y'all say hello to my baby dakota y'all haven't seen her since she was like so little so if you aren't following me on instagram definitely make sure to do that leave any comments or questions down below and uh yeah that's pretty much it i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video Bye, babies.